Hey, what's up, peeps? Happy Thanksgiving from Tulum, Mexico, from these beautiful villas that I built about two years ago, as you could see. I'm finally staying in the fruits of my labor. This is just the downstairs part, and there's also um, some stairs to go upstairs, but I mean, I don't need to, I only need one room for God's sake. But anyway, uh, I want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving, and there's a couple of things that I want to talk about. Let's just clean this lens. A couple of things I want to talk about in regards to this special day to the Americans. The Brits don't really celebrate this. I'm in Mexico, no one celebrates Thanksgiving here. But ultimately, you know, I jumped on the news today for about five, 10 minutes, and the things that I was seeing are just absolutely shocking. And what I want to talk about is the mental health disaster in our modern, in today's day and age. Now, I sit here in my beautiful home, happy, my family are all safe and sound and I have enough money in the bank account, um, plenty. In fact, if I invest correctly enough to last me a lifetime, I have some good friends around me, I have a good life, I, I work out as hard as I can, I have a good body and, and I like to try and balance everything in life so that I have everything that I possibly ever wanted. Now that's just not the case for other people on this in, in this planet. And sadly, I'm seeing a lot of mental health issues, depression and suicides and death and, um, and just general misery. And I think that social media has been one of the reasons for that. And I read this morning that a 21 year old girl killed herself because she, she used to be an ultra marathon runner and then she couldn't run anymore. And then she decided to kill herself because that was the best course of action, apparently, according to her. And what's worrying me now is the comparisons that you guys are all drawing with everyone else. Um, I certainly remember when I started watching Andrew Tate uh, about two years ago now, or I think it was potentially last summer. Uh, no, sorry, two years ago now. I felt pretty shit about myself because I was like, this guy has all these different things. He beats me on every level. He's taller, stronger. He's richer than me. Um, he's, you know, he's got more followers. He's got this social media following. He's got a strong brotherhood. What the hell am I doing with my life? Man, I must be a failure. And that's the crazy psychological things that go through our head it, when, we, uh, when we embrace social media, when we follow it so often, we, because we're all stuck in the trap of social media, let's be honest. We're all watching YouTube videos, we're all on Instagram, we're all on Facebook, you know, we're all just like on TikTok all day long. Social media, guys, has taken over our lives. And I'm, I do a lot of these videos because I'm very passionate about this subject and I'm really sick and tired of seeing, you know, I'm sick and tired of hearing these terrible stories about young children killing themselves, literally killing themselves. No, check out the back garden, by the way. There's a bathtub back there, which I'm obviously never going to use because it gets dirty and full of mosquitoes. Anyway. It's, it's a real problem. Like social media is killing us, guys. The mental health pandemic is the new age issue that we're all facing. It's supposed to be a day of giving thanks. It's supposed to be a day of appreciating what you have. It's supposed to be a day of being grateful for what you have. And instead I jump on the news and I'm grateful for what I have and I hope you guys are too. But instead I jump on the news and I see these horror stories of, of depressed children and people killing themselves. And it's just outrageous. It breaks my heart. I saw Andrew Tate this morning post on Twitter saying, you know, I'm tired of seeing children dying. I'm tired of seeing, I'm personally tired of seeing children depressed and upset and teenagers struggling in this life because they constantly feel like they have to compare themselves to others. And I'm not a fucking teenager. I'm 36 years old. I'm strong, I have all these amazing things in the world. I don't miss anything in life. Sure, I can have more money and more fame, but everyone could have more money and fame. That's an endless, never-ending cycle. So I'm super happy with what I have. But when I spend time on social media, even I get jealous of the things other people have. I get super jealous. I get annoyed. Damn, this guy has that, why don't I have that? So imagine these other people that are watching these videos that don't have all these things. Imagine how they're feeling. Guys, social media is destroying us. We have to get control of our minds, control of our bodies, control of our lives on this Thanksgiving day. You know, I want you all to be grateful for what you have, absolutely. But put that phone down sometimes. Put TikTok down, that garbage. 
The technology companies are eating us alive. This is what they want. They wanted our attention. They've got our attention so that they could sell advertising, so they could make money, so they could control us. We're being controlled. And this is not how we're supposed to live as humans. We're supposed to live in harmony and in peace and in love and in kindness. Not with hate and war and children dying and people mentally depressed and people ill and people on drugs and antidepressants because this modern society is evil and is, is, is well, I mean, it's not blatantly evil, but unfortunately it's indirectly and as a result of the way it operates, it's hurting people while making some people very rich and very wealthy. So we've lost our touch and we've lost our hope, my friends. Well, we haven't lost our hope. There's always hope. And there's always hope for humanity as long as there are men like me and men like Andrew Tate and men like, I'm going to say, Donald Trump, who, who still believes that, you know, we should be negotiating with these crazy leaders of these other countries that are causing war. You know, so strong men leads to a strong society. Weak men and too much of a leftist agenda where men are not standing up and helping each other and fighting wars and being warriors and bringing people together. That will lead to a destruction of society, which is what we're seeing right now. Men need to step up and every man that's stepping up right now and saying something is getting cancelled. And God, I might be the next one to get cancelled, judging by the way society operates and judging by the way, you know, judging just by this, 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 this agenda that we've got right now is ridiculous. We don't, we're not allowed to have strong men. It's just all about feminism. It's all about feminism and bloody, you know, oh, if you're a strong man, no, don't speak up. You're, a to you're toxic masculinity. Like you're a toxic masculine man. What, are you insane? I want what's best for the world. I want what's best for the children. I want what, what's best for the people. And so, anyway, I want to wish you again a happy Thanksgiving. Um, you know, it's a special day in the US, but unfortunately... Some of it is, is marred by the difficulties that are going on in this world. And I can't help but think that how am I going to help these people? And, you know, I promise to put more content out there, which is a promise that I made to myself a long time ago. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. But please consider putting social media down. Please consider the mental health pandemic that's destroying everyone. Um, and I don't want you to be another one of those people. All right, my brothers and sisters, lots of love. Be grateful for what you have. Call your mother, call your father, call your parents, call your brothers, call your sisters, call the people that you love. Tell them how much you love them because you won't exist forever. Tell them now before it's too late. And let's help each other get to the top. Let's help rise humanity into the, the light, which is where we all want to be and away from this darkness and this difficulties. Please like and subscribe. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Love you all.